I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we'll relate area with volume of square based prism. The question here is Peter has 10.14 meter square of plywood. He wants to use this plywood to construct a square based prism box with maximum volume. Find the maximum volume. So we'll assume in this case that the box is covered, right? So we'll have a covered box in this. And if that is the case, then the shape is that of a cube. So this is how it should be look. It should be right. A cube gives you maximum volume and minimum surface area. So for the given surface area, cube will have the maximum volume. So let the dimensions be x, x, and x. Units are meters. Okay, so we'll put x meters, x meters, and x meters, right? So those are the units for us. Right. We are given that Peter has 10.14 meter square of plywood. So this meter square is the surface area, right? So we have six surfaces. with same area right same area which is x square right x times x so the surface area let's say surface area is six times x square each is x square right and that should be equal to 10.14 meter square right that should be equals 10.14 meters square so at this time we are making an assumption no wastage right okay so from here we can calculate the value of x so we have x square equals to 10.14 divided by 6 and x is equals to square root of 10.14 one four divided by six is it okay so let's calculate this value so square root of 10.14 divided by six and that is equal to in decimals 1.3 so we get 1.3 as the value of x and the units are meters if x is the length width and height of this particular square based prism then what is the volume we need to find maximum volume right so volume V will be equal to 1.3 cube right 1.3 cube so let's find cube of this so we have 1.3 cube equals to with decimals 2.197 so it is 2.197 meter cube so it says what the maximum volume so you can always round this volume in this case let's round it to 2.2 that's a good approximation meter cube right so that becomes the volume of this square based prism the maximum volume i hope that helps so the idea is from the surface area of the material we know we are creating six surfaces of exactly same area each being x square so once you find the dimensions volume is product of length width and height so i hope that helps i'm anil kumar you can always share and subscribe my videos thank you and all the best